Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cruz Ave here and I welcome each and every one of you to a brand new tutorial video for the guide and today we're gonna be talking about a very hot topic in FIFA 19 about how to finish your chances successfully. I know that a lot of you guys are probably having a hard time scoring goals consistently and that's why today I will explain to you all the different variations that we figure work best to score goals in FIFA 19. Now this is a very early video, no patch has been released yet, so we're talking about the first stages of FIFA 19, nothing has been fixed, no shooting mechanics have been changed, so this is to help you out at the start with the build that we have right now. And we will also have a lot of in-depth tutorial videos about the shooting techniques that we show in this video, so definitely check out the video description to see if any of those videos are already released. Now to start this off guys, I want to stress once again how important time finishing is in FIFA 19. We've already made an in-depth tutorial video on time finishing. If you haven't seen that yet and you're still struggling with the new feature, then I definitely recommend you to check that out before you continue watching this video because time finishing in FIFA 19 is one of the most important aspects. Finishing in general is just not as consistent anymore as in previous FIFA titles. In FIFA 18 you used to just double tap as soon as you entered the box and it was basically a goal. Now it really requires your full attention to score goals and the time finishing will just increase your success rate immensely because especially in situations where it's not so easy anymore to score goals like with the low driven shot like volleys or like those one versus one situations when you're not in the perfect position you don't have the angle to just finesse it into the far corner and you have to get it past the goalkeeper somehow in those spots the time finishing will just increase your success rate and you will enjoy playing fifa 19 a lot more The first spot I want to talk about is probably the best situation to score goals in FIFA 19 consistently. It's the far post finesse from the edge of the box. Now the area where you can apply this technique is very big. You can use it if you just entered the box and you're 12 to 30 meters away from goal. You can definitely use it when you're around 16 to 20 meters away. And of course you can still score goals with the finesse shots from 25 plus meters away. But the higher the distance from goal, the lower the chance of scoring. Now for this shot it's very important that your player has enough space that he can take his time, aim for the goal and then really finesse it beautifully into the far post. And in addition to that, it helps if you have an angle, so if your player is positioned slightly to the left or to the right of the goal, then the curve will really unfold. Next up, you need to prepare the shot. There are two steps. First, you need your player to have the right angle. You want to aim either directly at the far post or even slightly next to it, because then you can apply some extra curve, but don't aim too far, because then the quality of the shot will decrease. And now, very important for all kinds of shots, I will refer to it in this video a lot of times, you need to have a good touch before the shot. Now that means that after accepting the ball, for example, if the first touch wasn't the best, then have a little extra touch, do not use sprint or L1 dribbling or anything like that, just a normal touch, last touch and then when the ball is the farthest away from your player you will start powering up the shot, in this case 2 to 3 bars depending on how far you're away from goal and your player will be able to have a good animation and to make a really nice finesse finish. We've also made a special tutorial video about this technique. We call it the two-touch finesse and it's very strong in FIFA 19. So if you haven't seen the in-depth video on it, definitely check the eye in the top right corner or the link in the description. Next up we have the far post finesse but this time in a one versus one so when you're alone in front of goal and you just need to beat the goalkeeper. This technique is probably the safest and most consistent one to finish one versus one situations with the goalkeeper consistently but you have to have enough time to prepare the shot correctly. So make sure first there's no defender close by who can still tackle the ball from you and that the goalkeeper is far enough away so that you can prepare the shot as you need. To get the highest chance of scoring these types of goals you first have to make sure that your player is having the ball on the right foot which in this case is the inner one. So if you're coming from the left side and want to score into the right corner, you have to do that with your right foot. And if you're coming from the right side and you want to score into the left corner, you have to do that with the left foot. 
Now let's take a look at this example with Mbappé here. He's free on goal after a through ball, but he needs to sprint in order to keep the defenders behind him. He even makes a big touch with the right stick, which I can definitely recommend to you if you want to keep the space between defenders and your strikers, because it's not as easy anymore in FIFA 19. And you can see that Mbappé is coming slightly from the left side. So already with the first big touch, the ball is put slightly upwards so that it is positioned on his right foot. and then and continuing running the ball is kept on the right foot the angle to the far post is still there and then once again very important the last touch a good touch before the finish without sprint and putting the ball even slightly more to the right foot with a slight correction of the left stick and then a finesse with two and a half bars even time finished what a beauty and it goes in the next example is different because here the box is crowded and Nigolan gets the pass to Malcolm, but he's already very close to goal. There's not enough time. The finish needs to be prepared as soon as possible, but still so important. The last good touch and the correct angle on goal. Take a look at the ball acceptance of Malcolm. He's turned away from goal, so it's almost 180 degrees turn. And that's why after the first touch, the ball is not in perfect position. It's more on his right foot. And if you would take the shot with the next ball contact already, you would most likely take it with the right foot. And that would definitely decrease the chance heavily to score a goal here. So one more little extra touch to put the ball back on the left foot. In this case, that even helps him because he's a left footed player. And then you have a nice and easy finish with the left foot finessed into the far corner. Next up we have a technique that has almost been forgotten because the low driven cross shot was so dominant in past FIFA titles but it seems that in FIFA 19 this one is back, it's the near post finesse shot. This one is very efficient when the far post is blocked by a player or you have a defender close by so you can't really get the angle to cut inside and get the ball on the inner foot. Then you can definitely use this one to curve the ball into the short corner. Once again, two steps to prepare this shot. You need to get the right angle, in this case aim at the short post or even slightly next to it. Most likely you should aim slightly next to it because then you get a better curve to get it past the goalkeeper since it's the short corner and the goalkeeper in most cases covers this one. So aim a bit next to the post and then of course one last good touch to prepare the shot and then depending on how far you're away from goal, most likely two to two and a half bars. This one can even work further away from goal, similar to the far post finesse from the edge of the box. Especially if you hit a green time finish, then you have a high chance here as well to score this one from further away. Of course, we can't forget the low driven cross shot. This one is still in the game. It's a bit harder to do now with L1 and R1 or LB and RB plus the shooting button, but it's not as powerful anymore. I already talked about this, so you have to be very careful when to use it. Of course, the spots are the same. It's slightly to the left or slightly to the right of the goal and then you're going for this cross shot into the far corner. But since it's not as consistent anymore as the finesse shot, this one you should most likely use when you don't have the chance to get the ball on the inner foot. Once again, if the defender is close by or a defender could catch up if you go the longer way and you need to keep the ball on the outer foot, on the right side, on the right foot and on the left side, on the left foot, then you can go for a low driven finish. In general, you have two different kinds of situations here, depending on how far away you're from the goalkeeper. If you're still far away, then obviously you need to go for a very powerful shot. And in these cases, I feel like the time finishing is the way to go because it just gives your shot so much power, so much more consistency. It will hit the target more often. And if you don't go for time finishes with these kinds of low driven shots, then they will have a big variation. Some will go in, some will just go wide, some will go to the middle of the goal so there is not really something you can rely on so go for the time finishes here. When you're further away from goal then you need at least two and a half bars of power up to three and a half or even sometimes four because it's a low driven shot so the ball won't go high obviously it's a low shot so you can really power it up depending on how much time you have to take the shot 
The more power you have, if you take a good shot, the higher the chance of it going in, obviously. And then we have the other situation when the goalkeeper is already very close to your player. Maybe he ran out of goal and as I told already, you can't get the ball on the inner foot because of the defender or the goalkeeper is already too close. He would get the ball from you. Then you can try to go for a cheeky little low driven with not so much power. One and a half to two bars is definitely enough for this one. And you just try to slip it underneath the goalkeeper or past him slightly and if you get the right power and timing then you have a good chance of scoring these. Next up we have a very special variation, a near post finish but this time with a normal driven shot. This one can be a good option when you're already pretty central on goal but you're coming from a slight angle and the far corner is blocked or you can't really get the right angle for a finesse into the far corner. Then you can just try to power it up into the short post area and try to hit a goal with that. In this example we have Ronaldo pretty free on goal but there is still one defender trying to cover the far post area and we all know how many shots get blocked in FIFA 19. So here since the near post area is not covered at all we can just power up the shot with two and a half bars and Ronaldo with a timed finish even hammers it in. The goalkeepers in FIFA 19 just don't seem to react so well to near post finishes. That's why they work really well and have a high success rate. And last but not least we have the lobbed shot which is in my opinion a very good option in FIFA 19. It's pretty consistent compared to all the other shots, maybe because the other shots are not so consistent as in the past years. So the lobbed shot is a very good variation if obviously the opponent is taking out his goalkeeper. If he comes running out and there's enough distance between the goal and the goalkeeper and you can prepare the shot a bit then the lobbed shot can work out in your favor. So let's take a look at this example with Neymar it's a pretty good one in my opinion because after the through ball Neymar is in a very good position he tries to get the ball on his right foot for a far post finesse as we saw in the example earlier with Mbappe but since there's still stones Neymar has to correct his run he has to get the ball again on his left foot the goalkeeper is running out of goal and the angle is just not there for a good finish because goalkeeper comes out angles are very tiny so what does Neymar do he takes one last touch and then powers up the lob shot and it goes beautifully over the goalkeeper for a goal. For powering up the lob shot it all depends on your distance towards goal because there can happen some crazy situations like here with Maresh where you're even lobbing from outside the box and then of course you need to go for at least two and a half to three bars but if you're close to goal and you just want to chip it over the keeper like Messi does and how he hurt Bayern Munich for example in this crazy situation when he uh, first dribbled Boateng and then chipped it over Neuer then one and a half bars to two bars is enough. We hope that all these variations and explanations will increase your finishing success rate. Leave a like if that's the case, that would help us out massively. Definitely share this with your friends or maybe don't because then they will score more goals against you. You have to decide for this one but a share would definitely be appreciated. And definitely check out our coaching offers from Elite 1 and Top 100 players as well. Links to that all in the eye in the top right corner or in the description below. That's it for this tutorial video. Follow the guide if you don't want to miss any other videos. I'll better talk to you in the next one. See you then. Much love. Peace.